Hello YouTube, welcome back. We're playing a bit of Faster Than Light. There's the music back on. Um, thought I'd give it a go. I've seen uh, this game getting quite a bit of love over the years since it's been out and um, it's time to delve in and give it a go. I've had a few poodles around. I know very basic strategy but uh, in terms of being a uh, an expert I think I'm lacking severely. So let's give it a crack and see what we've got. As you can see I've only unlocked the basic ships, the Kestrel and the Taurus. Uh, I'm going to stick with the Kestrel because I know it. Oh, what? Oh, the Taurus comes with a drone bay. Interesting, but we're going to stick with the Kestrel for now. Uh, and what we're going to go for? Low, layout A, B, or C? We can only have layout A. That's okay. Hide the rooms. It's not much use. What does the? What does that look like? Meh. Okay. Uh, and I can't. What have I got to complete two of for layout B? Have six unique aliens on the Kestrel cruiser simultaneously. I have eleven systems installed on the cruiser. As the Kestrel Cruiser repair back to full health when it only has one hit point remaining. Hmm. Intriguing. I don't think I'm going to get uh, many. Maybe you'll get that? Maybe. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So who have we got? We've got Ares, Nekos, and Beth. And of course, it wouldn't be a, a stream if we didn't make this opportunity for somebody to name these characters after themselves. So would anyone like to claim Ares, Nekos, or Beth? Nekos here has a, a striking little bald spot on the back of his head. As does Ares. In fact, they all... Oh no, it's just the highlights. It's just the light catching their hair. Oh, I'm wrong, sorry. I thought they were bald, but uh, apparently not. And good old Beth. Well, I'm going to be uh, Ares. Why not? Let's uh, up, click the rename button. That will help. There we go. Scoun drill. And then I need two crewmates to come with me. That'll do. Anyone else there? Oh, something changed. We can rename these guys later, we'll get on with that. So do I want to start with a Burst Laser and an Artemis? Do I have any other options? What? No, not really. Let's just crack on. We'll go for normal difficulty, because that's the way it goes. <clears throat> the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Augmentations. Your ship can only hold three augmentations. They provide unique benefits to a system, the crew, or the entire ship. Cool. Cool. Okay, so where are we starting? Uh, in a little bit of empty space, nothing too exciting going on. Let's take stock of where our characters are standing, and rename one for Kiezu. Ah, oh, my name's too long. Uh, Skounder. Hello, Skounder. Well, uh, Kiezu, uh, I think you can be our... A weapons expert. You are going to replace Beth. So, Beth. In we go. We right click. What do we do? Um, how do we rename Beth? Can we not rename her? Well, this is unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. We'll have to wait until the next round. This is just a warm up. So, Kiezu, stand back. Unless you know a way to change the name of these characters. Uh, just relax and everything will be fine. Now, we're going to save our current crew positions so we can make them return to their positions. I'm, of course, pilot. Uh, Beth, who would have been Kiezu, but unfortunately can't be now, is our weapons expert, and Nekos is here in the engine room. Let's get cracking. Have we got any power spare? We have. Why would we not put that into weapons? I don't know, but we've done it now, so let's jump. Okay, so we'll start by coming to the exit and working our route back. Uh, the nebula's a bit of a pain in the ass. I don't really want to go to a nebula, so I'm going to see if I can come around this back route. Yep, yeah, that's an easily accessed star... Okay, so I think, realistically, I want to be going this way, right? Let's do it. Off we go! Okay. This beacon has been placed too close to a super giant Class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves in to engage. Let's continue and quickly pause again to take stock of what's going on. Now, we're going to start with the burst laser, and we're going to focus fire on there weapons system there you go and we'll see how that works out we'll let the uh oh what, what have i done shit weapon system fire on their weapon systems you good no okay there we go we've shot we've shot and we've taken their weapons out that's good right now burst lasers aim on the shields artemis as soon as those shields go down i want you to take a shot at their oh solar flare not good Okay, the shields didn't actually go down. That's not good either. Shit, we've got to put the fires out. Um, engine guy, you're the one. Get in there. Put those out. Oh, he's a bit of a mission. He's a bit far away, isn't he? 
Maybe we should have just vented it. Never mind. We're working okay. We're working okay. Burst lasers. Come on, people. Come on. What's going on here? Oh. You have clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. Do we accept their offer of two missiles, one drone, and seven scrap? Or do we not accept their surrender and shoot them up? I, for one, think we should accept the surrender. Because we need to deal with this fire situation. Oh, 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 no, no. Ah. Bit of a problem here. Bit of a problem. Let's uh, quickly jump somewhere where we can get to safety. Um, we're going to go here first. Here we go. No more solar flare madness. Uh, a rebel automated ship. Uh, avoid provoking them. Right. Fire. Let's put the fire out. Let's go in here and... Uh, shit. Shit. Everywhere's on fire. Okay. It looks like we might get a chance to name someone after you sooner than we thought, uh, Kiezu. Let's put the fire out that's next to the med bay so we can heal up after putting the fire out. Seems like a plan to me. Ah, shit. Something tells me this might be a bit of a lost cause. Come on, Beth. Put the fire out before you go heal. Put the fire out. Lovely, Beth. Lovely. That's it. Let's get these doors repaired. That's it. It's being repaired, Beth. You go get a bit of healing, too. You get a bit of healing, too. Right. Once we've done the doors, we're going to heal security. We're going to repair security, rather. In fact, no. Let's not. Let's say... Let's open this door. This door. This door. And this door. And... Boom. Boom. We're all good. Shields are critical. Why this? Oh, because the shields are on fire. That's why. Okay, this should make us safe, right? Ah, crap. I need a clear path of oxygen. <laughs> Can we do that? It sounds like the fire's finished. Right, let's get repairing, people. Uh, and also, let's let's close these doors because, frankly, we don't want to void ourselves into space. That's going to be a problem. They're taking damage. Shite. Closed door. Open that one. There we go. Is that better? Is that going to help the oxygen levels? Everyone's back up to full health. Good, good. Let's repair. Let's repair. We're off to a great start. I don't know what you're saying, Kiezu. This is clearly as good a start as any. Right. Yeah, I have good. Okay, right. We're repaired there. Let's get the shields repaired. They're obviously pretty important. It's going to take a while for the oxygen level to get back up, but I think we're doing okay for now. Okay, anything else need repairing after this? I don't think so. I think we're all good. Right, let's go back to our stations and see who we lost. I think we lost ah, the engine person. So, poor old, what's her name? Who are you? Beth. You're going to have to pull double duty on engines and the old doodah. So let's go to the distress beacon. What do they say? You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders! So do we send the crew to help? Giant alien spiders are no joke, or do we leave them alone? I'm going to send the crew to help, see if we can get an extra crew member. Your crew slowly creeps up on a cluster of the creatures from behind. Without warning, the giant arachnids turn and charge. However, your team stays in control, and before long, you've beaten them back contact the station owners. They are thrilled with your success and offer you a reward. Six of those? Fuel? I think that's fuel, isn't it? Six missiles and nine scrap. Thank you very much. I appreciate your um, reward, but I would have appreciated a new crew member much more. Right, let's jump again. Uh, do we go to the store with 26 scrap? Doesn't seem like it's worth it, to be honest. We could head back here and then over here. We may as well go to the store. We can't really buy anything, but we'll have a little bit of a look, a peruse, and see what they've got. The space station here has a travelling merchant who shows you his wares. Okay, what have we got? So we've got loads of fuel, we've got plenty of rockets, uh, we've got a bit of uh, drone scrap that I don't really need, so should we sell that? I'm not, I've not got a drone bay, so... What, why can't I... What? I don't want to buy drone parts, I want to sell drone parts. You're not buying them? Come on. He's got two pages of stuff. Well, we can't afford any of this. It's way too expensive. Or that. Or that. Um, we can't even afford an anti-personnel drone. What a shame. We could fix the ship. That's only going to cost us two scrap. Mm, probably worth it, right? Oh, I see. Fix all eight. Okay, fair enough. That'll do. Um, and 
Really, I think we should save this 16 scrap and get moving. It only makes sense. Let's jump off. So, where to next? The Distress Beacon or the Unvisited Location? You know what? I'm going to the Unvisited first, then the Distress Beacon. In these early stages, you have to really get as much as you can. You recognise the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you labourers for cheap. Buy one slave and free them to join your crew. Well, we can't afford them, so that's okay. Attack the slaver scum or ignore the slaver and continue on our way. Let's attack the slaver scum. Burst laser on the weapons, thank you very much. And then we've got plenty of missiles, so we'll send an Artemis after his drones. Come on, charge those weapons up. And maybe you get on the old uh, weapons again. Oh, lovely. The drones are down. Good, good. Right, now, burst laser. I want you to suppress those weapons. Keep them down. And Artemis, go for the shields. Actually, I think we might be in trouble here. The Artemis is going to hit the shields. and Or is it? Yep, total miss. Okay, we're keeping those weapons suppressed, though. Let's not use the Artemis just yet. Another shot on the weapons. We want to keep them down. They've repaired their drones. That's not a good sign. There we go. Right. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyway. Okay, we'll take Teldarin. Thanks, Teldarin. You can join our crew. You're free now. I mean, you're free to work on our ship. That's for sure. So what's the skill of these guys, uh, Teldarins? They have a bonus, don't they? There's something about them that they do better. They repair stuff, I think. So let's send him off to the engine room and uh, lock our new positions in. So we're back to three crew members. We're back to where we began, and everything's just fine and dandy. Okay, repair that ship for me, please, or that uh, jump thing. Should I attack? Should I blow them up? Can I blow them up? Nah, we, we, we said we weren't going to. Okay, so we've gone here. Let's head off to the distress signal. And see what happens here. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. Uh, let's go down to the surface to investigate. You find a man living alone in a cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems he's been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Bring him back to your ships in the hope of finding some help for him, or leave the madman to his ravings. He's not worth the risk. Let's take him with us. Being back in space terrifies him. He goes mad and nearly blows a hole in the side of your ship with a makeshift explosive in an attempt to escape this metal prison. He dies in the explosion. And five hull damage. Shazam. Could you uh, repair that for me, my dear Tadarian Or Teldarian? Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Get that repaired and then we'll pop you back on the old uh, engines. And everything will be just fine and dandy. There we go. Thank you very much, Teldarian. Off you go. And while you're on your way, we'll jump. So... Here, here, or here. I think if we go here, we can then go there, and there, and there, and there, and there, right? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay. Am I off-center in this webcam? Should I get rid of the webcam? Do we really need it? You are immediately contacted by a settlement. Hello, travelers. Your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Care to take up a bit of mercenary work? Let's listen to their offer. Some of our friends have taken to piracy in the recent chaos of the war. We'd like you to convince them of their poor decision by severely damaging their ship. We'll pay you well as long as you don't kill them all. Except, Just be sure not to blow them up, they say nervously as they direct you to a nearby moon. You find the pirate ship docked there. They immediately respond to your appearance with, Your money or your life! They must be new to this. Right. Pause. Okay. Burst lasers on the weapons and uh, no yes that's what we want and then we'll save the Artemis shells up and see what happens we might be able to keep this uh, keep this spicy come on laser up okay okay our shields ooh nasty damage nasty damage right we're gonna have to go for an Artemis on the shields just to show them we're not looking around there we go and the burst laser back on the weapons thank you very much there we go. Weapons down. Burst laser. Shoot the weapon system again, please. Or the shields? Actually, shoot the shields. That makes more sense. Okay. They hail your ship, saying, You win! We're not cut out for this! Hail them live and... No, let them live and re then return to the settlement. Forget your promise. They die. Okay, let's let them live. With the pirates dissuaded from their career path, you return to the settlement. 
thank you. They returned to us before you did. I don't think we'll need this anymore. So they give us 13 scrap and an anti-bio beam. Nice. Lovely anti-bio beam. What was that shooting all about? I saw them shoot. Okay, they can live. They can live. So how does the anti-bio beam work? Not enough system power. Okay, we need to get some more stuff and upgrade our ship. Right, can we repair? We can't repair in space, can we? Let's jump. Okay, where to next? Well, here seems like sense. Then there, then there, then there, then there. Okay, we're good. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. We're doing it. You discover a nearby planet speckled with settlements, although none respond to your hails. Well, a bit disappointing, but uh, they can't all be winners, can they? Can they? A strange vessel approaches. A digital message appears on your view screen. This is an automated merchant. Refill this vessel with fuel and it will supply you with drones. I don't need drones, thank you very much. I have no way to use them. Okay, off to here. Oh no, another one of these bad boys. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously close to a star. An automated rebel ship, impervious to the heat, moves in to engage. Okay, uh, I think we'll go for a burst laser on the weapons. And then once the weapons are down, we're all good, right? Nothing to fear other than the uh, flames of the sun. Come on, burst lasers, chargey wargy. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. More burst lasers, please. Ooh, don't do too much damage. It's okay, it's okay. It's just a little bit of hull damage. It's just a flesh wound. Damn. All right, Artemis it. Shoot that Artemis. Oh no, this thing's too nippy. Uh-oh, Pilot, get the hell in there. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Substantial? It's not that substantial. Right, let's get this fire out. Thank you. Come on, scoundrel. Come on, 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 before there's another solar flare. Oh shit. All hands on deck. Come on, everybody, put the fire out, put the fire out, put the fire out. Fire out! Good, we're in. Scoundrel, doesn't matter, get to the fucking thing and get out of here. Shit. Ah, uh, the FTL's charging. Come on, let's jump, let's jump. Oh, no, it's okay, it's okay, the fires are out, good. Uh, let's go to the unvisited location and immediately return everyone to their stations. Nope. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Draw straws and send a crew member over to the slavers. We will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Damn right we won't. Let's pause it. Send everyone back to their special locations and target their weapon systems because everybody loves a weapon system uh, and their shields. Okay, fingers crossed. They haven't got a teleporter, which is nice. I hate teleporters. It's a low-down, lousy bum move. Oh shit! But it's good. It's good. We've got uh, we've got damage on him. Get an Artemis into his engines. No, his O2. Fuck his breathing up. That's what we want to do. Boom! Look at that. You can't breathe. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. Oh, we'll have Gumpo, shall we? Yeah, lovely. We've got a bit of Gumpo now. Right, scoundrel. Get yourself in the old uh, repair room. Let's have a look at what Gumpo does. He provides an extra level of power. I know his kind. Gumpo, you pop in there, and you, you're now in charge of the shields. Right, is everybody back to full health? Oh no, Teldarin's not. He can go in there. Scoundrel, back you go. Teldarin's in there. Everyone's up to full health? Good. New stations. Lovely. Okay. Right, let's jump. Uh, where do we go? Uh-oh. The exit appears to be right in the hot zone. Not good. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Okay, right, okay. In that case, let's do our burst laser straight for the weapons, because that's what's important, and then the Artemis to the shields. Come on, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. We've got a lot of uh, crazy weaponry flying around here. Okay. No, not good, not good. Uh, burst laser, focus fire on those goddamn things. Uh, oh no, this is not looking good. Their shields are down, their shields are down. Artemis his weapons and burst. Just fucking kill him. Let's 
going on. Burst laser with shields. Artemis is fucking weapons. Just fuck him up. No, we're losing him. No, we lost somebody. Damn it. Okay, we've blown them up. That's good. There's no time to salvage the enemy ship. You must jump away before the cruisers get in firing range. Uh, yeah, about that. I have a strange feeling we're not going to succeed here. You get to the med bay. You control this fire. Control. Oh, Willy Wonka. Come on, put the fire out. Ah, shit, we've got to get in there. Put that fire out too. You go in there, that fire's a goner. Oh, scoundrel's dead. I think we may have lost this. Everybody up to re repair the helm. That's it. That's it. Repair the helm. Can we escape? I really don't think this is much. Nope. 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 It's all over. It's all over. 21 minutes and one run comes to a glorious end. Glorious if you think that kind of thing is glorious. 251. Let's look at my stats. What do we get? Session records. Most ships defeated, 10. Most beacons explored, 46. Most scrap collected, 441. Most crew hired, 7. Oh, these are my... Oh, I see. Crew records. Mikhail. Most repairs, 18. Most combat kills, 3. 69, dude. Okay, these are my best people. This is my session. So, uh, beacons explored, 12. Ships defeated, 2. Scrap collected, 41. Crew hired, 5. Hmm, not the most exciting results, it has to be said. Not the most exciting results. Let's go straight to the hangar and start again. Anyway, let's stop the recording. Thank you for watching, those of you watching on YouTube. Sorry for my half-obscured face there. It's been a pleasure recording for you, and hopefully we'll have some more faster than light sooner than you'd imagine. Bye-bye. <laughs>